It's Jay Coffey on the vid, and we got some drama brewing in New England. I guess it's somewhat of a tense situation going on here, and it's all over. Cam Newton and Stefan Gilmore's alleged dinner. Like, what's really going on here? Now, we already know the, you know, with the health crisis going on and the NFL season underway, trying to make it through the season without this thing spreading like wildfire, without, you know, big name players missing the games, keeping the schedule intact. I don't know, like comment if you really think this can be done. I mean, the first couple of weeks we know went pretty well, but we've seen over this past week with everything uh, with Tennessee, with what we're talking about right here, the Patriots, there were some other teams affected as well. Um, you know, games were moved. It's it's been messy. It's been frustrating, especially for the fans out there like myself included. Everyone, if your team was affected, comment below. Comment with your thoughts on that. But getting back to this dinner that we're talking about with what's going on with New England. If you remember last week, the Patriots lost to the Chiefs, which was, you know, still a good matchup. But, you know, we didn't see the real ma matchup that everyone wanted to see that was supposed to happen new england played a surprisingly good game but cam newton was out he was positive well now everything gets tricky you know um because the next day we find out star cornerback stefan gilmore who sidebar ain't the best cornerback in the league i say that i gotta say that every time i do a video tradavius white is uh but anyways it has nothing to do with the story I just had to put that out there. Go Bills. Stephon Gilmore is positive. We find out. And then Patrick Mahomes starts talking. He's worried because he was in close contact with Gilmore, you know, directly on the field during the game. They There was contact between them. And we know Mahomes, the defending champs, the Chiefs. Mahomes is a star player. I know Chiefs fans like would be sick. If something happened with my home status. That's what I mean. This whole thing's a mess. This is, it's kind of crazy. We got through those first uh, few weeks of the season, but it's probably going to be situations like this going on all season long. And it's just going to really be a mess because they're going to have to try to play the games and teams can be at disadvantage without their star guys. But imagine if something happened uh, to where my homes had to miss some games or who knows. But we find out, you know, Mahomes was positive. And then this is all where the real drama is coming in this dinner, this special dinner between Patrick or uh, between Cam Newton and Stefan Gilmore. Allegedly, it starts being reported that, um, you know, at the time, neither of them would have knew they had it prior to the game. They had uh, that weekend. They had dinner together. Cam Newton comes up positive before the game doesn't play. Then Gilmore comes up after the game. So the media is putting this out there. And this is where things get uh, get get a little tense here. A little bit of media spin going on. You know how the media does. It is what it is. Not all media. But we know how it goes down. But uh, Stefan Gilmore's wife gets mad. She hit Twitter a couple times. You'll see saying, you know, this is fake news. Stop spreading this. This dinner never happened. Um, you know, fans, uh, Patriots fans, NFL fans are all talking about this. Did they have dinner? Did they not have dinner? Ain't that so crazy? Like, there's so much controversy and speculation going on if these two dudes had dinner together. So a Patriots NFL analyst starts getting heat on Twitter from um, Gilmore's wife and from the fans saying, stop saying this, this isn't true. And then he's coming out and saying, I never said they had dinner together. I'm not the one. This is who said it. And I want to go back to the COVID test here. And I can remember a play with um, uh, Stefan Gilmore where he hit Patrick Mahomes as he was going out of bounds. So that's one play in particular that I know he was close to somebody, a very important name, obviously, in the NFL. What happens testing-wise? Anything different with the Chiefs more closely monitored? What happens when a team's opponent, like the Steelers, for instance, and the Titans, what happens next after a player tests positive? Well, uh, first of all, the Chiefs test came back negative this morning. Okay. So th there, there are no positive Chiefs tests for starters. And then you have a situation 
where basically, um, hold on one second, Yeah. Hey, hold on a second. Yeah. Be, be smart, be careful. Oh, I love you. Bye. And so, um, look, if you go back, if you go back to the Vikings and Titans, the Vikings play the Titans, Vikings haven't had a positive test. And again, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a scientist, I'm not any of that, but when you listen to people talk, the belief is, and the NFL shared this data with medical scientists, is that you have to be, you have to be in proximity with a person for a little bit of an extended period of time. Um, I don't know that a Stephon Gilmore and Patrick Mahomes collision on the sideline is enough to transmit the virus. Mm. Again, all we can do is go by what we're seeing. Stephon Gilmore tested positive. Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs, nobody else has tested positive. Now, I happen to, I happen to believe, I, I was told that um, in the New England area over the weekend that Cam Newton and Stephon Gilmore were spotted having dinner together on Friday night. So, and I was, and, and I was aware of that over the weekend. So to hear that he tested positive, I got to be honest, is not overly surprising to me. You know, if you're at a dinner table with somebody who's got the virus, you know, there's a chance I would think that you're going to get the virus, right? So it was Adam Schefter all along claiming that that the the Cam Newton, Stefan Gilmore dinner happened. And, you know, I'd have to say I, I believe that uh, Schefter is probably the top NFL guy, especially online, like on Twitter and everything like that. Like, comment and let me know if you guys agree, if you would consider to be Schefter to be the top guy uh, for media, NFL media. And it's kind of funny, uh, Schefter, since this, you know, leading into this week is when he did this little podcast and everything and said this, he hasn't. In all this controversy stirred, he stayed in the cut and hasn't said anything else about it. He's been real quiet. But um, let's let's break this down. Um, why is this dinner so important? Because like I said, if it did happen at the time, neither of these guys knew they had it. You know, are people going to say, well, players shouldn't be having dinner together just in case they do have it? I mean, there's no way these guys are going to know if they possibly have it or not unless they specifically know someone else came up positive for one for two i mean they're in the locker room and everything together anyway so i, I like does it really matter i just find this to be a little crazy that there's just all this drama over the this dinner but i do gotta say adam schefter is normally on point with his news he has a lot of sources he's always the first to break a lot of things so who told schefter this right i mean it, who's his source like is it an nfl player was it someone in the restaurant i mean when we say he has sources he's not just going to report bs things like anyone tells him and what i mean by that is it's not like just some you know regular person who's in a, a restaurant is going to be able to really hit adam schefter up and say look cam is you know or they're going to think to do that and when I'm saying this, I'm not saying that it's a fact what Schefter's saying here is true, but it's just funny. Who's tell, Who told Schefter this? Why, since all this controversy has came out, is Schefter being really quiet? Because we know Schefter's online all the time, tweeting, retweeting, sharing other sports journalist stuff. Like, he's heavily active on the NFL Twitter. So I know he saw this controversy going down with Stefan Gilmore's wife in the, in the Patriots uh, journalist and he didn't step up and say it that it was him he's remained quiet about it i don't know it's just kind of funny when you think about it like what if there's a crazy plot twist it's a player talking to Schefter, you know and Schefter doesn't want to blow up the guy's spot because i mean that's the number one rule of journalism if you have sources you don't you don't reveal those sources you don't burn your sources like that and why is uh gilmore's wife like so this lie just got made up like is gilmore lying to his wife i don't know i don't want to speculate on that and get get up in someone's uh, uh marriage or, or nothing like that but wouldn't that be a crazy plot twist cam newton and gilmore were out you know having themselves a, a good old time meeting up with other women i don't know what they were doing going out clubbing and you know then next thing you know 
Gilmore's wife starts seeing this on Twitter. She's like, what are you talking about? You didn't have dinner with them. You were at such and such that night. I mean, who knows? I'm not saying this is true. I'm just pondering all this because I find this kind of funny at the end of the day that this, this, like I said, if the dinner happened or didn't happen is, is uh, being discussed so heavily. But who really knows, man? It's just kind of a crazy situation. But Gilmore's wife is adamant. There was no dinner. And she wants the fake news to stop. <clears throat> Jump in the comments, guys. Let me know what you think about this. Like I said, we're going to see stuff like this going on all year. And I'm not talking about if people, players had dinner together or not. And like I said, man, I, I really don't feel anyone should say that. Like, I, I know... Like, comment and let me know what you think about this, right? Because at the end of the day, we know we're all told we're supposed to stay inside unless we have to go outside. People are losing their minds. They don't want to stay inside. Restaurants and places are open now and there is safety measures in place. And like I said, these players are together in the locker room and things like that anyway. So I, I really can't see anyone holding it against them. They're people too, you know, but... What I mean when we're going to be seeing things going down all season like this, I mean that all this testing, you know, who's going to miss the game? Is this game going to be moved? It's going to be a mess. Hopefully, maybe things can get, you know, in order. But uh, we've seen the, the last couple weeks have been a mess, man. So let me know what you guys think about all this. Uh, jump in the comments. Make sure to sub to the channel. Make sure to hit the bell. We're bringing you guys NFL content all week. And what do you think happened? Did they really have dinner, didn't they? <laughs> I don't know. This is just funny to me. I'm out of here, guys. Peace.